Schism in the Catholic Church Disobedient German clergy blessing of gay couples Catholic clergy are preparing to bless gay couples across Germany during a defiance demonstration of apostasy happening on May 10, 2021, despite Vatican ban on the practice. This is the latest sign of how far liberal German Catholics are pushing the boundaries of the Vatican's authority and teachings to put together a more progressive version of their church. Many defiant priests and some lay ministers are planning ceremonies blessing gay relationships in dozens of Catholic churches and other venues in Germany, including Essen Cathedral, during the second week of May. Most of them will take place on Monday, 10th of May, and will be live-streamed. Germany has been notorious for gay blessings in the past decade, along with some other parts of Northern Europe. Normally, they did those events silently and in places other than churches. But 10th of May, highly publicized ceremonies will solidify the protest against the Vatican Declaration in March, prohibiting the blessing of same-sex relationships on the grounds that God cannot bless sin. This is what Reverend Christian Holding a Catholic priest from the town of Gildern said about his practice that he has blessed about 10 same-sex couples in the past eight years. It always has been a little bit kind of a secret, but this is the first time that we are going this way in society to do it visibly for everyone. The prohibition of gay blessings by the Vatican has always been received with resistance. Vatican officials are anxious about a national synod of German Catholics being prepared since last year, which will conclude in October, that will deal with the ordination of women, greater roles, greater roles for lay people in church administration, and the revision of church teaching on homosexuality. Several conservative bishops in Germany and other countries have shown their concern, saying that such changes could lead to a schism in the universal church. Francis and other Vatican officials have warned German church leaders not to go their own way. Several German bishops, including George Bassing of Limburg, the president of the National Bishops' Conference criticized the document, as did a progressive group of more than 200 prominent theologians. Catholic churches in Germany hung rainbow bright flags from their bassins or bell towers, something never seen before. The more than 700 priests and deacons signed the petition along with thousands of lay church officials, insisting that they would not refuse a blessing to gay couples if they asked for it. Some progressive Catholics wonder why Francis, who until recently was in favor of gay people, has departed from his famous comment about gay priests. Who am I to judge? Conservatives see the May 10 event as a dangerous show of disobedience to church authority. Cardinal Walter Brandmuller, who is retired and lives in the Vatican, says, It is an enormous scandal, a terrifying sign of heresy, schism, and the collapse of the church. Despite the recent document from the Vatican Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, which said, the church cannot bless same-sex unions. The German group of defiant priests will go ahead with this disobedient practice. 
bringing about a schism in the Catholic Church. In an interview with the newspaper Ifolio on May 4, Cardinal Camilo Ruini, aged 90, urges the German priests to keep the connection with the Universal Church. Ruini said, I do not deny, therefore, that there is a risk of a schism, but I trust that, with God's help, it can be overcome. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. Please tell us, what do you think about the acceptance of homosexuality in the Church? God bless you.